now, that's right, I'm back in Mexico to finish the boat project. Third time lucky, I hope. A project we started almost four years ago, when it looked like this. And then we brought it up to this kind of level. But it has also taken us 30 months of hard boat work so far. It's time to start the day. This is the kitchen I'm using, but also the family who runs the hotel. So now they decided to build a new kitchen upstairs for guests. That's perfect. Just next to the terrace. It's a nice and calm pace during the early hours in the morning here in Puerto Madero. Our neighboring over disc grocery vendor gets back from town with fresh products. The ladies are wiping the streets and the dogs are strolling around just like any creature in the village. The tricycle drivers having their busiest time of the day. And likewise our taxi driver friends who takes us to the boatyard every day. Alright guys, I've been working a lot with the cables and the connections the last couple of days and a little bit of plumbing as well um, but there's still a lot of things that hasn't been finished Hey, so you came by today, I haven't seen you for a while Well Andreas, you said you're gonna clean and organize a little bit but I don't know, do you call this organized? What? Is this all you got? Come on! Well, one thing's for sure, when Karen was here, it was a lot more organized. But since I got here this morning, I spent like one and a half hour just cleaning up the mess, organizing, so I have all my tools uh, and then the drill bits and the electrical connections. I got everything here now, so I think it's gonna be a better workflow. It's a hundred times better than it was when I was here an hour ago. So, well, good on you. I mean, I think Karen would have been pretty impressed by it now. I mean, it's it's hard to keep it like 100%, but I will try to keep it a lot better now than I did uh, the last week, actually. I think you should get back to work now, and uh, I want to see some progress here, so we see some things happening, because at the moment I haven't seen a lot of progress, so... I've been working pretty much, actually. I've been working a lot on the water maker, the plumbing, drilling holes, just to plan that thing, or the whole thing. Yeah, I think I've done a lot of work actually. So, yeah, sorry to hear you that you weren't impressed, but mm, yeah, we'll see about that. So, yeah, see you around. Impress me next time, please. In one of the orders we put uh, last year from Amazon, we bought a um, small label printer. The main reason I bought the label printer was to mark all the cables, so it's easy to follow them and know where, what they're doing. Works pretty good. Yeah, you know the feeling when you're not really happy with it and you're just trying to come up with ideas why you should like it or... Yeah, I'm redoing some, some of the, the plumbing. I wasn't just super 100 with it and yeah. I'm, uh, so the thing is, I'm moving the, uh, the deck washer salt water pump into the head instead. You know, when you start to think about it, 
then you should probably do it as well. So I guess I'll need to drill one or two more holes between the, uh, the galley and the head. Oh yeah, a little bit of redoing. Okay, I won't hide my mistakes. And now, I'm not gonna be quiet about my mistakes. <laughs> Doesn't everybody have their lights on when the fan is running? Well, something inside me thought that. Because now when I've been wiring the, ele the electrical system uh, for the fans and the ceiling, they're running on the same, on the same breaker. I I forgot about the lights can be switched off and the fan is can be running like in the night when you use the fans the fan at the most so yeah dumb mistake so I just need to find uh, um, some places to um, uh, to connect some breakers for the um, for the down lights because they don't have any breakers so that's for now. Do you have a package for me? You know I don't have a package. No? I got a little disappointed when DHL weren't carrying any of my Amazon orders. Look at this. Remember you don't like my, my clothes? No. Look, look at this. Look at this. But Lisa, look but at this guy. <laughs> now, do, do you think it's, it's fair to come here to the nice beautiful office? You know, in our arena chapas like this. Yeah, Please. you know uh, why? Then you can see at least somebody's working here. <laughs> <laughs> this is usually the time of the year when people are getting back to their boats, but right now it's only me and sailing shaft on the yard, except some workers on a local boat. Yeah, so that's one side of the pandemic. And by the end of the week. What have I really done this last week? This is what I think I did this week. I was crimping and running a lot of cables in the ceiling. Also, I've been working a lot on um, hoses, uh, uh, running the hoses here and there and drilling holes for it and uh, clamping it with hose clamps. A lot of tasks takes a long time because it's very hard to get to. It's, uh, it's cramped places and um, I installed lamps in the aft cabin and in the engine room. I moved deck wash and the toilet pump, <clears throat> I installed a strainer and accumulator tank, drilling hose for the solar cables uh, from the ACAS, installed plates for the bilge pumps in the AMAS and drilled hose for them and screwed it down, installed um, a brine and uh, I drilled a hole for a through hole and installed the through hole, I epoxied some holes, yeah more drilling holes and running cables for the cockpit, uh, printing labels, but most of all I spent a lot of time on planning and decision making. Yeah, you can see some of my ant poison. I don't know if they're still there. I just saw a lot of um, ants running around on the boat and um, I tracked them down to, to this winch. And I've seen some in the other winches too. Yeah, I took the drum off the, the winch off and uh, started playing with the winch and there was a lot of ants coming out. And I haven't cleaned inside yet, so I probably need a good clean. Yeah, it's always... Some animals trying to build a nest here. It was a good shower after a sweaty day. Well, I guess all days are sweaty now when you're working inside. Uh, I don't complain really working inside, it's pretty nice actually. But yeah, now I'm heading back to the hotel to prepare some food. But damn, I'm so terrible at preparing food right now. I can't come up with any fun or tasty dishes. So I hope you have some ideas what I can cook. It needs to be vegetarian though. Um, and it, you know, Mexico, you don't find uh, everything here. So but yeah, give me some good uh, ideas where I can prepare. Because I'm getting really sick of uh, cooking right now. It's getting closer for the big project to install the new four-stay chain plate and furler. Definitely the biggest challenge left to accomplish.
The main reason we chose the below deck furlough was due to a super good deal at about one fifth of our retail price, but also because of the previous furlough had a very low to deck drum height, just to make sure our sail would fit. Yeah, we got the mast up last season, but I have actually not um, installed all the, um, the stays. The, the running back stays and the check stays are still not installed, and I, have, I haven't installed any fittings uh, or chain plates for it. But the plan is that it comes down here, and here will be a, um, a big pad eye. Or two big pad eyes, actually. One for the check stay and one for uh, the runners. So that's the reason we installed these inspection hatches, so it's easy to get to and, in and inspect um, what's going on um, underneath. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any super news or updates. If you activate the notification bell, you will also get a notification if we post any updates. So, see you next week, guys!